O-R-E-O, -O, Oreo cookies. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, when Oreo cookies were established back in 1912, uh, uh, compliments of Wikipedia today, um, 365 billion Oreo cookies have been sold worldwide. Now, could you imagine, Crumb Boss, if we sold 365 billion Crumb Buns? I could imagine that, yes. Hey, everybody, Crumb Boss here. Oh, you could imagine that? Yeah, 365 billion Crumb Buns. Somebody did her homework today. Somebody's a little Googling this morning. Google Wikipedia. I did send a text to my friend, nice but there, she Steph. didn't respond back to me, so she didn't know what it was. <laughs> yeah, I know the history of Oreo cookies. Nice, nice touch. It was called America's Favorite Cookie. Yeah, it's right there. And Actually, that, now it's called Milk's Favorite Cookie. Now it's called cookie. Milk's Favorite Cookie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I can't drink milk. Somebody's getting paid by the milk industry. <laughs> and somebody's getting milk. Milk's making a lot of money That's on that right. thing. Yes. That's right. So today we're making Oreo cheesecake. Oreo cheesecake. Yes. We are going to start backwards today because I've gone ahead and made one already. Wow. You're so spe... How do you do it, Crumb Boss? I know. Isn't it amazing? It's fabulous. So <laughs> <laughs> we're going to start backwards because I want to show you um, how to unmold the cheesecake, first of all, and which would be the last step, but I have to bake it first, right? So I had to do this one yesterday. Um, what you're going to want to do when you unmold a cheesecake is um, run a knife around the edge like this. Um, I like to dip mine in a little bit of hot water here to kind of help loosen it because when this cheesecake does sit overnight and it gets cold mm -hmm. it's not going to want to release from the pan. Um, some people have asked me why don't I use springform pans. Um, I just don't. You can. Most people who make cheesecakes Because when you bought the bakery, they just came with what they yeah, came with. So we you didn't just, have any of those. So we just have whatever they had. It's like the iron. We have the iron <laughs> pans. Yeah. Whoops. Here she goes. Yeah. Zippity doo da, zippity a. Okay, Oreo cheesecake's gonna. Crumb Boss has now just released it with the hot water knife, not the fifty-six thousand dollar knife, no. and she's going to place it on a beautiful gold platter over here. Whoops, gonna bang it too. See how that comes out? Hey, look at that! Oh, look at it! It's Oreo cheesecake. Yeah, Oreo base. Oh, and that's you're gonna cool. You're gonna put your plate or your board. Yes. On top of there, like that. Okay. You're so organized. And then just flip it back over. Okay. See how I did that on a little bit of parchment paper? Yes. So that you can flip it upside down. All right, and there's the finished Oreo cheesecake. Okay, but it's not quite finished because what I wanted to do, I mean, it could be finished if you want to go ahead and leave it like that. Yes. But I made some Oreo buttercream. I did um, oh. our a Swiss buttercream recipe mixed with crushed up Oreo cookies. Oh my and God. And that's what's in here, and I'm just going to do that. Oh. So it just kind of garnished the sides a bit. Yeah, that's pretty. So right now we're showing everybody the finished, yeah, right. so they could understand it. Exactly. And now and you're then gonna, we're going to go ahead and mix the recipe. And then you're going to mix it. the recipe again. Yeah. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are making Steph's Oreo cookies, America's well, America's favorite, Milk's favorite, whatever. It's just a great cookie. And this is the cheesecake. And now she's cracking Oreos in half, yeah. and putting I'm not it on the cheesecake. Because I'm going to show you how to mix the recipe first. Okay. Um, so, Crumb Boss, how you doing today? Hey, everybody, Crumb Boss here. Time to get to the recipe Time part. Time to get to the recipe. The moment you've all been Ow. waiting for. My elbow's itching. Yeah. Ow. Too much buttercream on there. Ow. Ow. Sorry. Too much buttercream on there. I can't drop the camera. I have a horrible itch. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh huh. Right. So today we've got a full table, full spread here. We need a lot of equipment to make Oreo cheesecake. We've got our food processor and we've got our KitchenAid mixer. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I'm going to do first, though, is uh, use the food processor. I'm going to make the Oreo uh, cookie crust for the Oreo cheesecake. That's okay. probably the best part of it. Mm -hmm. So uh, what you're going to do is take about 10 Oreo cookies. Um, it's going to make about three quarters of a cup once I grind it all up. Do you want to put your food processor? See how it's all getting crushed up? Yeah. Here's my butter. And then I'm going to pour my butter into the top. Okay. And now you're going to mix, you're going to take that. Yep, I'm going to take that and I'm going to press that into the bottom of my 8 inch cake pan. Again, I use cake pans. You guys could use springform pans, whichever you prefer. But what you really do want to do, very important, is take a piece of parchment paper and cut a circle the size of your pan and put that into the bottom. 
um, especially if you're not using a spring form pan because this is going to help your cheesecake release. Did you see how easily mine popped out? That's because I had a piece of paper down in the box. Well, that's because you slammed it on the table. Yeah, and that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me uh, release it. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right, it's very then. exciting, right? <laughs> And there's a bee in here. Is that what you're I, I can't do it. I can't. I can't. Oh my Come god. On. He won't bother. No. Oh, oh my god. I can't get stuck by a bee. Well, if you just. How did he get. Around. He went in the back door. I had the back door open. Yeah, because they're, they know they're going to die. Okay. And they and flew so, in the back door. Okay, so yeah. whatever. Holy sh. <laughs> oh my god. So, we have our Oreo cookies at the bottom of the pan. Do you want to start over? No. No, I just got scared. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. All right. Uh, we're going to mix the cheesecake now. <laughs> now we're going to go ahead and mix the cheesecake part of it. Um, we've done cheesecake already on Crumb Boss TV, but we just did a regular uh, vanilla bean cheesecake New York style. And um, this is very similar. In the mixing, the only thing that's different really is going to be that we're going to add in or crushed up Oreo cookies. Okay, so you got the, that's the cream cheese. That's the cream cheese. We're going to get that mixing. All right. Um, I've had my cream cheese at room temperature because it mixes out a lot more smooth when you do that. Yeah, exactly. When it's cold cream cheese, you're going to have a little bit of a trouble with it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the same cookie that the ghost wanted in Cabo, remember? I went when we went to Cabo. I went to and I said I went and got black, my blackberry fix. Yeah. And you said uh, I actually. And then I told you the truth. 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 <laughs> I told you the truth. It's a bee. No, I can't get There's stung. So I many. got stung last year. It was bad. There's it's so many bees in here because it's September. It's getting colder outside. They all want to come in here because it's warm. Yep. And um, it's so not a bee. It's a One shame. time I went and I stuck my hand into the box of raisins. They were all in. The box of Ooh. they just want to go to one. Okay, week. let's just get through the rest of me. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy. I curse. Just pretend he's not there. <laughs> I curse. <laughs> oh my. All right, come on, let's mix this recipe. Come on. <laughs> come on, I'm <laughs> All right, so we got cream cheese smoothed out. Yeah! Okay. Come look in here. All right. No, what I you can wanna, see it. What you want to do a lot of times when you're creaming is scrape down your bowl. You don't want to have any lumps in your cheesecake, so you want to always stop the machine, mix, uh, scrape down the sides, and um, you know just go. Gotta go a little bit slow. Okay. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is add in my eggs one by one. You don't want to add them in too fast. No. All right. You want to uh, add one in. You'll see it kind of breaks, it separates, and then it'll come back together. That's when you know you can add in your next egg. Alright? Okay. And as it gets mixed, you can go a little bit faster, but initially you want to go really slow, one by one. Okay. Alright, there you have that. And then when you put the Oreos in? Well, not yet, because this recipe calls for sour cream. Oh. Okay. Uh-huh. This one, I'm going to take a little bit of sour cream and mix that into it. It really adds a nice richness to it. Mm -hmm. All right, and then for the last touch, what I do yes. is take a bag and add in, again, about 10, um, 10 Oreo cookies. I do it this way because I find it easier. Yeah, that's crumb on. Smash it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? That's the craziest thing I've ever done. Hurry up. Right, and then yeah. you put in your oh my Oreos into your cheesecake. That way you have big chunks and little chunks, and it's all just like that. Okay, cool. Right. And then you're going to dump it into your pan. Take this and dump this into my pan that I had mm -hmm. lined with my crust. All right, and There's then you're going to bake it at what, 350 bake, degrees? Uh, this one you want to go a little bit slow and low, 325 in a water bath. You're going to get another pan that's bigger than this one and put it inside with hot water. Bake it in a water bath slow and low, about 45 minutes to an hour, 325, and you're going to have 
and you're going to have this. Oreo cheesecake, ladies and gentlemen. Oreo cheesecake only found on Crumb Boss TV, made by the Crumb Boss. Whoa. Whoa, there it goes.